Okay, uh, so this is um, version 0.4.1, and um, I was getting ready, and I actually even practiced um, writing out a Python script that would call mPlayer for certain audio, like background music and stuff, because of the audio issues uh, I've been having. And if you're watching tutorials, this is something I've tried Googling before and couldn't find an answer other than certain sound cards. Blender has this issue. And uh, here I'll show you here if I can kill all these birds. Okay, I think I missed one because I'm still having the issue of them flying too high up in the sky, which is something we will fix soon, either in coding or just by putting a roof on the game. Um, so there's probably one flying up high there. Let me hit Q and start the game over again and try to hit them all. Yep, one shot up, way up. They eventually come back down, but that's definitely something we will fix, hopefully, in the next few tutorials. We got two flying up high there. One came back down. Let's, uh... Oh, I missed him. I think I... Oh! And I'm out of birds again. Now, to show you the, the issue I'm talking about with the audio, it's more noticeable on longer audio. Sent that one flying up again. Maybe I should have fixed that problem before I fixed the audio problem. Here we go. So hopefully you hear there how the audio is very flickery, I guess is a way to put it. And in the past, when I've had that issue with older versions of Blender, I'd write a Python script that would p call uh, the Pygame module and use Pygame to play audio. Uh, the problem with this is that with the newer version of Blender, it's using, or yeah, the newer version of Blender is using the newest version of Python, which is Python 3, which um, isn't really, uh, I think, fully supported of uh, Pygame yet. Um, so I couldn't do that. So I was just going to call a system command and call mPlayer, make it a dependency of um, the game uh, Pop in Linux, and when I packaged it for Windows, and Mac, I would have had to just package a binary copy of mPlayer, which then I would have had to script if this operating system looked for this file. And it could have been could have been problematic. So I'm glad that I accidentally came across this the other day. If we go to user preferences here and system, you can see that I'm using OpenAL, which is, um, from what I've read, the, the application that's causing the issue with the audio. Um, if I switch that over to SDL, uh, Simple Direct Media Layer, um, that fixes the problem. The audio is much clearer. You can even hear a difference in the shorter audio clips of the birds getting hit and the cannon shooting. Oops. I was thought I was going to miss those birds, but as you just heard there, the audio is now playing fine. Now, I have not tested this on other operating systems or even other Linux systems other than mine here, um, but, and, and I don't know if um, I save those settings here and I make an executable if it will um, be that way on everyone's system or if people are going to have to manually change that, in which case I'll try to write a script that will change that. Um, so, uh, just wanted to show you with this that there is a taking steps forward to fixing one of the many little bugs as well as, you know, uh, acknowledgement of, and I've said it in the past, that where the birds shoot way up. And um, like I said, I could write a Python script that limits the height the birds go. I could also, like I said, probably put a roof just at a camera view. And then also when they go that high, they come down so fast they go through the ground. So definitely have to limit that. And I don't think that would be too big of an issue. And hopefully we'll be able to do it without any coding. Once again, making it easier for non-programmers to get involved in this project. So, once again, another short one. We're, we're really just working on little tweaks right now. So these videos are getting, going to be kind of short. But plenty more to come. Uh, and I hope that you're enjoying these videos. You're learning stuff about Blender. I know. And one of the reasons I wanted to start this project was so that I can learn. Uh, even though I use Blender all the time, there's a lot to learn, and I am learning a lot, especially since I've never created kind of a 2D game in a 3D engine before. 
So thanks for watching. And uh, for more information on this project and to get files, go to filmsbychris.com forward slash P-O-P. That's Chris with a K. P-O-P -P is all lowercase. Check out the links in the description. Should be able to take you there. And um, I just thank you for watching. And if you're a supporter, thank you for supporting. And one of the future, in the near future, uh, things we're going to add is all the backers in a credits portion of the game. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.